My greetings, dear colleagues. Hello, Svetlana. Thanks for the invitation. Can you hear me? We hear you very well, and we can see you quite well. Thank you. Let me tell you about our actual clinical practice in the cancer clinic of the city of Archangels. Sorry, I can't switch my slides. We'll help you. In the Archangels um, region, the population is a bit over a million, plus the city of um, Marianmar with 43,000 people. All these uh, people uh, um, in our cancer register standardized uh, morbidity of melanoma in Archangels in general is higher than in Russia in uh, general. 6.1 against 4.7. The reason is uh, probably because we have people with light colored skin. Climate is uh, uh, bad. Long term holidays, people often go to the south when they are on the holidays. We're not used to insulation and uh, perhaps uh, we are not using the sun protection uh, cream. However, the standardized of mortality uh, in Arkansas region is lower than, uh, is same as in Russia in general. It's 1.5 against 1. Point, uh, versus 1.4. It's good to see that uh, the diagnosis is uh, high enough uh, both in Arkansas region and in Russia, and detectability keeps growing, especially after the year 17. That's due to the introduction of national projects. Uh, we have um, expanded uh, the system of um, um, detection, and we have dermoscopy available now. Um, melanomas are detected at initial stage, and that share of the initial stage detection is going high in our region's origin, it was 87%. A bit more statistics. Five-year overall survival of melanoma patients since the year 2000 till the year 19 is about 55.0%. That's comparable to the Russian Federation, 55.9%. Survival, of course, depends on the stage. And the survival parameters keep growing, starting from the year 10. We hope this is related to the introduction of um, new drugs. They are now being uh, available, the new drugs. This slide is well known. Earlier, we couldn't help our patients uh, if they had advanced melanoma. Just 5% uh, percent, uh, would have a five-year survival. But uh, when target uh, drugs appeared and later immune drugs uh, appeared, our patients started living longer. And we really love uh, the registration of uh, the triple combination immunotherapy and target drugs. Here is a critical case. The patient got sick in the uh, year 13. He was age 36 at that time. He had non-radical uh, surgery removal, uh, but um, uh, melanoma was um, 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 diagnosed with the seven, um, fourth level invasion clock um, and another surgery uh, he had. Um, so at the time of um, diagnosis, he had uh, stage three after a radical uh, treatment uh, surgery. First question for voting. If that patient got sick now, would you prescribe adjuvant drug therapy? And if yes, with what? What drugs? The list is no interferons, BRAF inhibitors uh, at positive mutation, or the last option is immunotherapy without waiting for BRAF result. Please vote. Ten seconds seem to last for a very long time. 
It's somebody's fate being decided. We decide on what to prescribe. The year 13 was a long time ago. Maria, nobody voted for nothing. Interferons, nearly 6%. And BRAF inhibitors, 53%. Immunotherapy without waiting for BRAF results, 41%. I see. It's quite an expected result. At that time, we had nothing in the year 13. So the patient was simply followed up. However, the progression into the soft tissues went fast. After surgery, uh, progression of disease was verified. At that time, uh, we could only uh, check whether he has a mutation. And yes, uh, he is a BRAF, he does have the BRAF mutation, but there were no anti-BRAF drugs at that time. So we continued to follow up the result. Progression was very fast. Again, soft tissues of the uh, chest wall right hand side. Again, he had a surgery and a relapse was a or recurrence was a, uh, verified. So by the year 16, uh, there was the generalization of the disease. He had multiple metastases of soft tissues, of lymph nodes and in brain um, as well. Three metastases in brain. That was the year 16, and we had no other chance uh, besides chemotherapy of uh, CVD scheme and cytotoxic. However, after eight courses of chemotherapy, uh, we had uh, a complete regression of all the remote metastases. Uh, we still like those old schemes since we observe they're efficient. Uh, uh, the next relapse was only in brain. In May of the year 17, uh, there was again stereotaxis done due to the recurrence. Uh, PET in the year 17 found a new recurrence in brain. And by November of the year uh, 17, uh, the patient had quite a big clinical diagnosis. So he had six progressions in four years. And the latest uh, progression was uh, uh, had the worst um, localization, that's brain. Once again, uh, the stereotaxis was done of um, brain metastasis. And finally, we had a chance uh, to uh, prescribe the anti-BRAF therapy. Inhibitors weren't yet available. For 13 months, the patient uh, was uh, stabilized. He continued working. He felt okay. There were no important adverse events. And in December of the year 18, he stopped uh, taking the brafenib due to the disease um, uh, progression. The progression was again in brain chest and uh, abdomen had no metastasis. Then uh, PET CT was done. Uh, sorry, PET was done of the um, uh, brain. At present, uh, that's February of the year 19, uh, immunotherapy was already available, but we only had nivolumab. And upon the consilium, uh, this was prescribed to our uh, patient. After six courses of treatment with nivolumab, uh, patient had non-confirmed progression of disease. New metastasis appeared um, in the left lobe of uh, liver. But clinically, he was stable, so we continued the treatment. After nine courses of nivolumab, there was stabilization. After 23 courses of immunotherapy with nivolumab, there was stabilization again. After 27 courses, um, there was one more unconfirmed progression. The patient was clinically stable, so we did continue the treatment. 30 courses, stabilization. Here you see the CT slides. So the overall survival 
of that uh, patient is 84 months, that's seven years. On this slide, uh, you see the history of the disease. Uh, the uh, treatment here is saved. He had surgery. He had stereotoxic irradiation, anti BRAFA therapy, immune uh, therapy. So all this time, the patient continued to uh, work. Um, he had no severe symptoms and no severe adverse events. Um, he received 43 courses of nivolumab. Uh, the uh, last course was on the 19th of November. Here are the conclusions of this uh, clinical case. Uh, things that I've already mentioned. Uh, control of metastatic uh, melanoma is 56 months, and the overall survival is seven years by December of this year. And thus, uh, this clinical uh, case, I believe, uh, proves uh, success of modern treatment of uh, melanoma and together with the multidisciplinary uh, approach using our new knowledge, uh, we can uh, prolong the patient's uh, life even with the ones with unfavorable uh, forecast. And last question for voting. Sometime sooner or later, this patient shall have a progression and we'd like to know the opinion of our colleagues. What would you treat him with in future? The options are inhibitors BRAF MEK, inhibitors BRAF MEK plus immunotherapy, third option combined immunotherapy, fourth option is chemotherapy. Maria, 23% are from inhibitors braf -MEC, this combination, 23% were, com were combined immunotherapy, 38% were for uh, inhibitors braf -MEC plus immunotherapy, triple treatment, and 15% voted for chemotherapy. Thank you. What will you prescribe, Maria? Difficult to say. Perhaps we should first of all the assess his status. What will he um, survive and what his general condition shall be? We considered the return to BRAF inhibitors. If he uh, does have a progression while being treated uh, with nivolumab, the addition of um, combined immunotherapy didn't uh, prove efficacious. Chemotherapy is uh, uh, the last choice. Uh, having such great drugs, chemotherapy is the option when nothing else helps. Uh, but we do not forget chemotherapy completely. We still